still think it's going to be a good day to get out there and work mm -hmm. in the yard. You know what, Patrick, of course, it's been a while, but today you're officially bringing back Patrick's garden. We're doing it for the fall, right? Yeah, we had a busy spring, early mm -hmm. summer. Now it's time to kind of get ready for fall, and believe it or not, in my garden plot, I'm already getting ready for like next year. So oh, wow. Okay. I'll let you know a few things that you can do as well. After a bit of a summer break, now back into Patrick's garden, and we're going to be talking about two different things in this segment. First, something uh, from spring and summer, and something that we're going to be doing to prepare for fall and next winter when it comes to our garden. The okra is still hanging on as part of the old spring and summer garden. It's usually a late producer, so if you uh, take care of it, sometimes you can get okra until the first frost. So I'll be picking this for the next uh, week or two until it starts to play out. As the stalks of okra get a little bit older, you may want to start picking the okra itself a little bit smaller because if you let it get too big, this time of year it'll get tough. Still getting a few eggplant too and uh, sometimes that will last another two or three weeks into the end of September and not really a popular vegetable but some folks really like it especially in Italian dishes like Parmesan. The rest of the garden is gone but now it's time to kind of replenish the soil and kind of get it ready for next spring a little ahead of time and this year I've decided to plant some red clover. Now red clover does a couple of things that are pretty important for gardens. First of all it replenishes the garden when it comes to nitrogen. Nitrogen is very important to get a garden going and keep it going through the spring and summer and it's a great nitrogen producer. Second of all, clover does a pretty good job in choking out weeds and unwanted grass so that when you do plow it and till it for the springtime, you don't have weeds, you just have the nitrogen rich clover that's going to be tilled under the soil. But the growing season's not over for some vegetables, and that's what we're going to be talking about next week on Patrick's Garden. All right, I have to admit, I'm one of the ones who totally loves eggplant. You love it or you mm -hmm. hate it. I don't think there's any in between. They've been awesome this year. We have a couple left for you, so okay. you never know. But hey, today I was over at Glass Farm yeah, Nursery, and those. they are open. Today was the first day. Look at the beautiful pansies. That's and, right. Uh, you know what? Some lucky person is going to be a winner of a flat of pansies. And That's right. They have pansies and mums and all sorts of great fall things. Those are go good for plant. the colder weather. And we did. Yep. We asked our Facebook followers earlier today to sign up to try to win that flat. And we're saying congratulations tonight to Jeannie Flynn. Way to go, Jeannie. You can pick up your prize at the Glass Farm Nursery. You're going to be able to choose from lots of different varieties they have there. And as you mentioned, they open up today at Rising Fawn, so they've got a fall season, right? Yeah, 10 inch mums, only $4.99, so it should be a great weekend to go out and do some shopping and maybe getting out in the garden. Fantastic. Congratulations, Jeannie. And stay with us. We've got a very patriotic throwback Thursday when we return. But first, a 30-second house call from Dr. Oz.